Hey, what's up? My name is Kai Savatari, aka Savatarix. I'm a magic player and I paint tokens for other MPG players. Brainstorm. Red and blues from behind Move slow till they pass you Stoneforge Mystic Activation Sure Und den Jump Token bring ich rein Nein, 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 nein What's up? It's your boy Kai Sawatari, aka Sawatarix. Welcome everyone to this beautiful Wednesday evening. I'm here for another another deck, and um, this time I asked my Discord, which is also free to join, uh, link down below. I asked the Discord what deck they want me to play for this particular stream, right? I I I asked I asked them last week, and we had a lot of really cool submissions. I think we had like on. Um, Esper Yorion Vile deck, which looked really interesting. I'm probably a little too stupid to play that though. And <laughs> there were like a couple of other really, really cool looking decks. One in particular I liked so much, I I actually picked it for tonight's stream. All right, so this one goes to Zack in Flames. All right, yeah. So uh, that's what's up. Check this out. This is the hotness, the hotness of today's stream. All right. So this is Blue Gree Omnitel, and uh, as you can tell from the name, it's uh, it's pretty. That's I mean, it's pretty much what the deck does, right? It is it is a show and tell omniscience Emra cool deck, but uh, oh yeah, and with the backup of Force of Will, Veil of Summer. That's, that's the big sucks. one. That is the big one. Last helicopter men sway die ruck gear day Kreisel figures showing. Oh shit, I had a Kreisel figure, I missed my father for the show. Oh man, I'm Samstag Abend, but then, ne? And nur du und ich natürlich, ne? Man weiß, okay, <laughs> nur für die richtigen Kenner. Uh, Waxing Ball is a big one. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so we got Vexing Bubbles, we got Veil of Summers, and we got Force of Worlds as protection, right? And I guess like the one. Other big thing in this deck is it's not just a show and tell deck. It's also um, the one a one ring deck, right? So like we get a time walk with this with ancient tomb, pretty easy to do. I think we can cast this on turn three um, or even on turn two if we have two ancient tombs and um, yeah, find our show and tell that way. Um, the only change I made to his deck deck list, like the deck list, is pretty much. Um, I think the it's for 47 or 45. No, wait, hold on. It's 40. No, it's 74 of 75. There we go. Um, I cut the fourth cunning wish and made it a preordain. Like from my experience, like if you play a deck like this, a lot of the times, like I fail, like I take too many too many mulligans because I have a lot of those clunky cards in my uh, in my deck or in my hand rather. So like I I really like a high density on cantrips and you know I mean it's not it's not a big deal by any means but I've played Omnitel before and I lost so many games because I I drew like too many cunning wishes in a row and uh, yeah just didn't do anything. Whereas like Preordain also finds your lands and and other stuff right so. Um, veil veil and bubbles the truth y'all. <laughs> um, yeah like veil is a little bit. Uh, Vexing Bob is a little bit of a number with Force of Will, obviously, but... Um, you know what's really funny? Is that this says... Whenever a play cast a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counted that spell. So technically, this counters every single thing we cast once we have Omniscience. But guess what? Guess what? <laughs> this spell cannot be countered. That's dude, Emrakul, that's just a good magic card. It's just, dude, this is just a good magic card. I think Wizard of the Coast did a fantastic job on this one. 
And uh, I don't know if you saw the new 7 drop. It's like a 7 mana Eldrazi. That it's like a 7-7, seven, seven, Vort 7, Trample, Lifelink, blah, 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 blah. Dude, that's... That's a boo-boo card. That's nothing compared to this fella right here. Because this guy ends games, right? Cannot be countered. You take an extra turn. Like, all the good stuff is on this card. Also, Annihilator 6. You know how devastating Annihilator 6 is? Annihilator 6 is, dude, like, it's like punching someone in the head and, like, their entire board. It's just, dude, like, Annihilator 6. Like, who can, who can survive Annihilator 6? Not many people. All right. So, um, yeah, we got two of those. Uh, the sideboard has, like, Flash Flusser Storms for combo, Dress Down versus Death and Taxes and other Hate Bears. Sink into Stool Pro is a really interesting thing because we can, <laughs> we can Cunning Wish for it, and it's actually a land that's tutorable. Um, don't know if it happens a lot, but it's it's really nice to have it. And then we have uh, Sublime Epiphany, um, kind of like a catch-all thing once we have omniscience in f um, on the battlefield. Turmeric that reached a little surprised to see this guy in the sideboard, honestly. Um, I don't know when we want to start it in, but I guess we can start it in against uh, decks that do a lot of discard. Like, just to have like a really high density on threats right also like against random decks like they're probably not prepared to them to fight Merc that regions anyway so um oh man uro hold with this mana base i don't know dude like one forest two drops it's a little ambitious for for the escape cost now <laughs> uh, one release the ants and one fire mines foresight those are the the og classics for the Cunning Wish kill, right? So what you do is you cast this, you find Fire Mind's full start, and then you search your library for an instant card with mana value 3, 2, and 1. So you get Release the Ants, you find Brainstorm, and you find, uh, what's it called? Cunning Wish. And Cunning Wish finds you a shared summons, and you get to tutor your library for two creatures with different card names. So you guess, I guess you only need to get Emrakul in this case. And then you put it back with Brainstorm and then you clash until, well, until your opponent is dead, right? So, uh, Poseidon also helps with, um, like, um, I don't know, just like random stuff. Yeah, like random stuff. And Carpet of Flowers is really nice against Tempo. One single sentence warm boy. One swarmy boy. <laughs> again everyone thank you so much for tuning in Deon Zack and Flames again Tunical Sora CH appreciate it appreciate y'all okay hi star all right so um yeah anything else a couple of things I like about this this archetype is that you get to run prismatic vista and misty rainforest like this combination you get to run one, two, three, four, five basic lands. I chose Tempest basics for this league. Two tropicals. And yeah, really curious how we do with Vexing Bubble and Veil of Summer. This is an interesting one. All right. So let's. Yeah, it's called also like Zack and Flames Omni. So you know what's up, right? And. I need your feedback. Uh, I need your input, Rotter. So before we start the leak, you know what's up. You know the drill, right, chat? You know the drill. I want to know from you guys, what do you think? Like, what's going to be our final record for this stream, right? We're going to play a five-round leak, as always. And I want to know from you guys, do we go undefeated, 5-0? and oh, Do you think this deck is more like a 4-1 deck, 3-2, and 2-3, and 1-4? and four, Or is it going to be an 0-5 leak? The last couple of streams were really successful. We had a uh, we had like a couple of four ones. We almost trophied last stream with Doomsday. Maybe you guys remember that. Um, this is another combo deck. I'm really thrilled that this deck runs Fail of Summer because all blue decks or most blue decks run both blue and black. So this is like a this is definitely a good meta game call. I like Fail of Summer a lot. Um, I'm a little nervous about. You know, like the the, um, the the speed of the deck, maybe, um, because Omnitel is not the fastest combo deck. It's more like a, it's kind of like a resilient mid range ish combo deck. Um, but yeah, really, really interested in 
seeing um how this how this turns out. I've never played the Vexing Bobble and Veil of Summer. This is dude, this is like the peak of protection, if you ask me. Right? 4-1 Cossack. Okay, well, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> okay, let's do it then. Let's do it. Also, happy Halloween, everyone. Mm. Yeah, probably doing some some Halloween action th uh, this Saturday, uh, somewhere in Berlin. Um, also have to buy a costume first, but as you know, like most people in Berlin, are, like did did like dress so fucked up that most people kind <laughs> kind of pass as zombies anyway. All right, welcome Abigos. Round number one, game number one, on the play. Let's get them. Okay. Um. I don't hate this hand. I don't hate it. Show and tell brainstorm. Yes, yes to both. Yes to absolutely both. This is the turn to show and tell into omniscience into brainstorm, baby. Um. Yeah. Running it route. Okay. Show and tell. I don't know what plateau plateau means. Uh this could be like a number of things. Pyroblast. Right on. Foo, okay. Well, well. I don't like to see it. Because if there is a pyroblast, there might be another pyroblast somewhere. Fable. Got it. Okay. Man, I hope they don't have another Pyroblast. And eventually we need to find something. So this card doesn't do anything against Pyroblast. Yeah. So the card we need to hit is like Cutting Wish is the big one. Cutting Wish is like is ding ding ding. Okay, shit. <sighs> this sucks. Draw a card if opponent has play a cost of blue or black spell. They have not. Okay, this sucks, man. This is the one thing I didn't wanted to see. Double Pyroblast is not what I wanted to see. Well, I mean, they also had the free looting of Fable of the Mirror Breaker, so I guess... Oof. Another show and tell. Okay. I mean, if you find Amra cool, then... This whole thing might change. Sure, Magus. Oh, that's totally okay. Main deck Magus and Ursa Saga. That's a big one. I mean, it's a little bit of a... n n n n n n n dumbo No? Okay. What do you guys think? Is Painter a good matchup for for this deck? Fifty fifty? Sixty forty maybe? Fifty one forty nine?
2080. <laughs> that sounds abysmal. This was such a cool play, man. On one life, yeah, plowing their own magus. Very good play. I don't think there's anything meaningful we can... Ooh, the one ring, huh? A little bit too late, my friend. <laughs> okay. Yep. Ancient Tomb was lethal. Okay. Ah, da, 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 da. Fluster Storm. Let's see. If, first of all, the cards that, that suck in this matchup. Veil of Summer is... Okay. It's not fantastic. Spells you control cannot be counted this turn. That's the huge one, right? Vexing Bubble, I'm gonna cut them. And Veil of Summer is kind of okay. Um, and what I really want in this matchup is, first of all, I think Dress Down is very valuable. Fluster Storm is valuable because they have uh, lots of Power Blast effects. And I also do like the Poseidon quite a bit. All right, so those, those go in. And I think we could cut... Ah, uh, Zandit Swarm, huh? Zandit Swarm is interesting. Dress Down doesn't work on Magus, by the way. Are you sure? Could you just lose all abilities? I mean, though... Yeah, those are the cards I like. I guess we can cut two Veil of Summers, maybe. Because Flusser Storm technically does the same as Veil of Summer, but it's also so much more. And we don't need to fetch for green, necessarily. Sure, I mean, you can also, like, play this in response to a Magus of- uh, in response to a Painter Servant, right? Show and tell into the one ring. Anyone? Okay, yeah, they're definitely, definitely holding up Pyroblast. That's good for me because uh, I don't need to cast a blue spell. Look at this. This is, this is the juice. All right. Uh, I don't necessarily need green. I, I Let me just grab double island here. Boop. Nice Pyroblast opponent. I guess we draw immediately. Sure. So there are, there are no Lotus Petals in this deck, right? No Lotus Petals, no... No fast mana. Containment Priest. Right, okay. <laughs> attack, no attack. Okay. Sure. Lots of hate. Lots of hate. Okay. 
Um, we got a force of will. That's really nice. How do we move on? I think we start with a ponder. Look for like a uh, something to put in, right? An om omniscience, most likely. Okay, so brains cost two mana now. Yeah, brains. Okay, cost two mana. One, two, three. I think. All we can do is just Vista go. Yeah, let's go Vista and go. And discard. Um. Huh. I think we discard the forest. Goblin Engineer. I mean, that's a good timing for a dress down. Mm. I mean, what, what does Goblin Engineer find? I mean, on the other hand, I could I, I could cast both Brainstorm and Impulse this turn. Easy dress down. Hmm. So we, we could we could go Brainstorm into dress down, but then we can't force over anymore. Okay, that was quite terrible. Wait, did I miss something? Oh shit, Ancient Tomb only taps for one mana? Ah, gosh, I missed that part. If I land this tap for two or more mana, it produces colorless haha <laughs> that's funny yeah i missed the first line of text this thing has two lines of text um i guess if that's the case i can force of will this and pitch oh hold on Yeah, no need to tap the ancient tomb. Right. Um, what do I pitch? I think I pitch one copy of show and tell. Or the cunning wish. Uh the impulse. Probably the impulse. I mean I'm gonna draw three cards also next turn, so. Okay. Alrighty. Give us the juice. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm gonna start with a brainstorm. Our hand needs a little bit of help. Uh, definitely no second engine tomb. And I think we also get rid of one show and tell. And it's time to cast the bug I mean this is a tricky one right like I, I don't think they still have lightning bolts in their deck and uh, I think that's it I think I'm gonna pass now Uh, so we take one, two, one, two, three, four, five damage. You're going down to three life next turn. 
<laughs> yep. Sold the plowshares. <laughs> well, well. Do I do I force? I I probably don't force. But nice full to plowshares. Yeah, dude, they're they're prepared. Yeah, they got everything. And I'm saying this like you know while having this stupid ring on the field. Like we've drawn so many cards already. Okay. Um. End of turn. I think we gotta like. Let's see. I can't use this engine tomb anymore, by the way. Uh, because that's just too much life loss. But I can definitely cast this brainstorm. Okay, another one ring. That's neat. That is neat. For sure. Lose three. Pang pang. Okay. And it's definitely, oh man, it's definitely time for a show and tell here with Veil of Summer and Force of Will back up. And I'm gonna put Omniscience in, in, uh, onto the battlefield and then I cast the one ring which replaces this one and we also Cunning Wish. So like this is the big turn. This is the big one. Um, can we go down to two life? I guess it doesn't really matter. Whoop, show and tell. All right, this is this is this is it. <laughs> this is it, baby. Okay, power blast. Um, do I tap ancient tomb? This costs two mana now. Do I fetch and cast veil of summer? Or do I ancient tomb and cast veil of summer? I mean, doesn't it doesn't make a huge difference? I think. Oh, I still gotta respect the damping sphere. I need more mana. Hmm. Let's uh, let's think this through again. Um. So, my force will cost one mana. So, I could... There are four cards in it. I could force a will pitch... Pitch show and tell. Because this, this card is pretty useless right now. And... Take... Take no damage, actually. But I don't know if that makes a big difference. Maybe I, or maybe I need the additional mana to cast the one ring too. Yeah, please don't have another power blast, please. Well, well, well. What up, everyone? Do you see all these original paintings behind me? Well, you can't really play magic on paintings, can you? But you know what I got you covered? You can absolutely play magic on play mats. <laughs> all play mats are limited to 20 each, and they're all numbered and signed individually. Spirit. Storm, 
construct. Stitched edges cause they rule. We welcome to round number dos, round number two on its way. Um, first round was rough, rough, rough. Too many rep blasts. This deck doesn't. This deck doesn't like rep blasts. It does not. Yeah, those playmats are full. They're all all sold out. Thank you so much, everyone. There are. Man, I shipped them to so many different countries, like to Canada, the US, one to Brazil, a couple to Germany, Austria, Italy too. Um, let's just go Vista. So the ones you just saw in the clip are already sold out, but there are other ones that are where I think I still have a little bit of stock left. I usually take them to events, um, but they're not limited, limited to 40 each, so eventually they will also run out. Caracas, okay. Nomads and core. Mm -hmm. Right. Dude, I love playing with Tempest and uh, Tempest Basics. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. So we got the kill for next turn. We got a double protected kill for next turn. And the question is like how 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 bad is this right how bad is this i i would honestly say that naru is okay right call me call me crazy but i think it's more important for us to i mean what did like to draw one two three four five six seven that when you draw eight cards it's eight cards but i think it's more important for me to also protect my combo and hmm Oh man, this this is so fucking difficult. This is really difficult. All right, Chad, you know what? It is time. It is time, Chad. You gotta help me, right? Counter, counter Nadu, or let it resolve. Twenty seconds, Chad. Let me know. This is this is a this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one because ideally I wanna use my force will to protect by show and tell. Ah. Uh. And like a decent amount of their amount of their cards also don't do much. Like they might draw like a bunch of uh, swords of plowshares maybe. Like is is there any way they can kill us? Like can they can actually kill us this turn? Probably not. They draw eight? Yeah, they draw they draw like four on this turn and then four on and probably in my upkeep. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, alright, alright. I hear you. I hear you. No attacks. Booyah! Okay, they got nothing. They got nothing. How about this cunning wish? <laughs> Seek. Okay. Um, Na Nadu, it is. I think we do want dress downs in this matchup for sure. 
Flusterstorm counters. Green Sun Zenith. Um, Merc Tide Regent. It's pro this is probably not a Merc Tide Regent matchup. Mm, I'm honestly looking at those Vexing Bobles again. I don't know how good they are. I don't know. They don't play any zero drops. And I also need Forcible to stop their stuff too. Veil of Summer is okay because they also run counters. But I think this is probably what, I'm, what I want to run. Xanth's form is interesting too. Why do you want to keep Vexing Bowl around in this matchup? Yeah. Feel like feel like this card doesn't do a whole lot. They sort of play silence. Like one thing I can do is like we can add Zandet Swarm. And we can add like one of the rings maybe. Yeah, like the one ring is a little slow versus them. Also like the protection thing also doesn't stop them. Good point, good point. Okay, game number two. Mm, I think I'm gonna take a mulligan on this. Uh, much better. Much, much better. <laughs> what do we bottom, chat? This is an interesting one. All right. Let me know. 20 seconds again. Boom. What do you think, chat? What do we bottom? We have to bottom one card here. I think that we need to bottom the Omniscience. Um... Or Veil of Summer. I think I want to keep all the lands. Uh, because we got the one ring. I'm definitely keeping this Zandit Swarm. Because that's probably my turn one play. Um, but I, I'm thinking like Omniscience or Veil of Summer. Those One of those two. Like we will probably eventually find... Show and Tell and Omniscience later with the one ring. That being said, though, like if Show and Tell is our next card, then I would feel really stupid for for dumping a card like this. All right then. Okay, pond us a good draw. <laughs> we, we need okay, we need to get basic forest, which sucks a little bit, but well, what yeah, what can you do? <laughs> wow, the, yeah, the kitten flowers. Very good, very very good. <laughs> Lol, Zadding Swarm sucks. <laughs> Dude, it was just a one-off. It was just a one-off. They they probably left it like a one-off sword to plowshares. Ember Cool, Omniscience, Show and Tell. Oh, dude, this is insane. This is, dude, this is just simply insane. <laughs> it's like if I had like perfect show notes for this, for this run, uh, for this run. Yeah, for this leak. It's the perfect ponder. <laughs> um, so we might overrun them this game. This, uh, this round, honestly. Because, uh, look at this. We... We cast show and tell. We fail back up. 
Yeah. How about how about th how about this one ring here? And we know the top card. Wow. Ember cool the Eon's Thorn baby. That was a good one. Yo fellas, did you know that you can also get tokens with mini alterations on them? Let me draw something simple on it, usually patterns or elements to make the token pop and it's perfect if you're on a budget but still want a one of a kind. Go to sawataris.com, select the token you want and then you go to type and select normal with mini alterations, add it to the card, boom, done. Get your goblin tokens with extra swag. Get your tokens with extra swag, everyone. This was, man, that's the reason why you play show and tell, right? Because you can dunk, you can dunk on those mid-range decks. You can, you can dunk so hard. <laughs> this deck, yeah, this deck just, yeah, I mean, like, you know, it, sometimes it slaps, it slaps. There's nothing better than casting Ember Cool for free. You still get the cost trigger, you get the extra turn, you swing, and as I said, like, Annihilator 6, right, this, this is the truth. The real reason why this Ember Cool is just so good is Annihilator 6. Welcome, amigos. This is an interesting hand. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's a turn one Vexing Bolt into turn two the One Ring. Very powerful. Like a kind of like a like a stompy start. Oops. Okay. Um, yeah, Wasteland would hurt a lot. Ooh, what the hell? Underground Sea Vexing Bowl. Okay, well. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I mean, we also got the combo assembled right there. I don't know, is this Storm? Saga, okay. Interesting, interesting. All right. Uh, oh, man, we have so many options. We have so many options, but I feel like we just go for show and tell Emra cool with force backup. Oh no, we we can't we can't actually cast force of will. Um <laughs> Lion's Eye Diamond. That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> okay, opponent, do your worst. Do your worst. You can make a construct if you want. And if they do something really funny, then we can always crack bubble and force will whatever, whatever they play. But yeah, they gotta deal with this. Fifteen, fifteen. <laughs> ah. Yeah, dude, this deck slaps. It's a lot of fun playing this deck. It's it's a lot of fun playing this deck. Yep, yep. Okay, what do we got? We got I think Buseju. It's like a it's like a storm deck they got. I think. So Flusser Storms, Buseju. Dress down maybe against constructs, even though I'm not super high on this. Um And I don't know, like <laughs> I mean to play LED. So I don't want to cut too many Vexing Bobbles. Veil of Summer. 
Oh man, like if they kill me with Tendrils of Agony, then I guess it's really good to have Veil Summer in the deck. I'm gonna cut the... I'm gonna cut a land, I think, for Bruseju. Um, Let me cut one of the islands. So land for land, and then we, we bring in the two Fluster Storms, and... Mm, I honestly don't know if we need a second Ember Cool in this matchup. Minus Force of Will, minus Impulse, minus two Rings, and Fluster and Dress Downs. Mm, so... Do you really think they kill us with Constructs? Like, can't we just race them? Like, with the one ring is a time walk. And if we resolve show and tell, then the game is over. I feel like constructs are a little bit too slow, no? And I don't think we want to cut four to wills against, against them. Even though they play dress down. Man, like, what is this deck? Is this Storm? I am okay with cutting one impulse. We would trim baubles. Maybe, like this. So minus Island, minus Emrakul, minus Vexing Bobble. Man, like, I mean, you saw it, right? Like, they play LED. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Like, I, I'm also curious how many Bobbles they, how, like, Vexing Bobbles they also leave in post sideboard. Okay, game number two. Ooh, they took Vexing Bobble. What? Dude, is it possible that this is like the epic storm, maybe? Angels of Agony. Okay. Right. Besiege. Okay. No cards in hand. <laughs> um well like I mean we gotta besage you this, right? We yeah, we just we just have to. They have zero cards in hand. This is like a slam dunk. Get out of here. Oop. <laughs> ah. Yep. The upside of playing a green combo deck. Ooh, nice c -c 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 combo <laughs> You know, I help you to get a little more surveil action. It's a win like this will say you win-win situation for both players, right? Um, so we're looking for mana, for mana mainly. Yeah. 
Yeah, dude. I I don't think this is like Saga Storm. This is, this is the Epic Storm, no? I haven't checked on their most updated deck list, but I gotta believe this is it. Yeah, look at that. I mean, look at us, right? This Simic Control. <laughs> Simic Control. Mm hmm. Ooh. Um. Veil vale of Summer. So what we can do is we can flush the storm this Veil vale of Summer. Because what if the last card is let's say like Echo of Aeons? I hope I don't get tricked here. Because I also increase storm count. Yeah, man, they're thinking about it. They have to pay three. They, no, they can pay three, right? They can if they want to. They have so much mana. Uh, let's see. Like, they, if their last card is Echo of Aeons, then they can sack the LED, pay with LED mana, and then also flashback Echo of Aeons. The problem is, though, the problem is that they have z zero lands in play. Or zero mana available. Oh, did they actually pay for everything? Oh, it's okay. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. It go beyond it is. Oh shit, I also have protection from everything, remember? Yeah, they can't they can't grape shot me here. I think, right? Didn't I get protection ready? Oh man, maybe they missed that. I guess we, we're gonna find out here, but Tentus of Agony shouldn't work. Oh man, dude, like the, this card is just so busted. The one ring. Better buy it now. Also this version. This version, dude, this is my favorite version. It looks so incredibly strong. And this is exactly my art style. Like this, this is what I like. You can't read anything. So, like, you can't say, like, reading the card explains the card. You can't say this to about this card, right? But it looks, dude, I think it looks so fucking cool. I don't know. It would be a little a, prob a problem if every magic card looks like this, because then at some point, like, you, you really don't know what's going on, but... Uh... Ooh, another song, cr song of creation, huh? Wait. Zero cards in hand? Boseju in hand?! Chat! Man, no car. You know what's up. You know what's up, right? Okay, we got we gonna Poseidon you this bitch in a second, but before we do that, let me see if we can actually maybe win the game instead. Uh, because winning is also really nice. And we can kind of win the game. We can kind of win the game. 
Uh, let's put those babies back. I do like winning, but I also do like Posagering Song of Creation against an opponent who has no cards in hand. Let's do this. Boop, boop, boop. Look at me. Cast this. Uh, I keep you, Pikachu. Oh, that's cool too. Oh man, beautiful. Mm, Shuffleino. Definitely. Ooh, Embra cooled the Eon Storm, you say, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, why don't we cast this, maybe? <laughs> Hello. And uh, before we forget, we also post your creation! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. Hey, what's up? My name is Kai Savatari, aka Savatarix. I'm a magic player and I paint tokens for other MPG players. Brainstorm. Stoneforge Mystic Activation. Sure. Und den Jump Token bringe ich rein. <laughs> okay, welcome amigos. This is run four. We smashed the hell out of the last two rounds. Um easy two O's each. I'm gonna keep this hand. This is a little bit of a slower, slow hand. It doesn't have any payoff yet, but we do have impulse. We do have vexing baubles. We have a lot of protection, and we have also stay very, very stable mana. So, let's see about this one. Oh. Oh wow, the pit dude, they, they pitched submerge! <laughs> they pitched submerge, baby! Yeah. I don't know what this means, but um I mean I guess it means something. Alright. Buseju, we can Yeah, let's just keep up Buseju slash impulse. I do like the one ring. Uh, any order? I think this is a prime matchup for Fubuseju. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah. Let's just take our turn here. Um, as much as I want to slam the one ring here, I think we have to be a little patient. They don't know about Poseju, and it's it's also really unlikely they play around Poseju just because like this card doesn't see a lot of play in main decks at least. Uh, duh, 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 duh. So targeting this, 
well, again, sage root your, um, your thing in response. How about this? And if the force, okay, cool. Uh, yo. <laughs> sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, I guess we have to raise them. Um, hmm. I do like show and telling in the one ring so we can protect it with Veil of Summer, but we also need to show and tell next turn. So I think I'm. It's a little risky. But I think I have to run out the, sh uh, the ring like this and just hope they don't have a Force of Will. Very nice. Oh, nice. Okay, so we have show and tell omniscience. Very good. And we'd also, we, more importantly, we don't die this turn, right? We don't die. They have Merit Lage. They can punch us, with, uh, punch us if they want, but... Okay, they didn't. Uh, draw five cards. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna force. That's totally okay. Go nuts, buddy. Um, so what do we do? What do we do? Like show and tell omniscient show and tell in two omniscience. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it doesn't hurt us. Okay. Okay, to put in forest. Let's cast another one just for security reasons. Give us something. Ooh, impulse. Okay, this is a good one. All right, all we need is a cunning wish, baby. Come on. Give us the cunning wish. Give us. I guess we take a brainstorm. Any water. Come on, brainstorm. <laughs> okay, that was pretty much nothing. Um <laughs> Yeah, like we could play another one ring. <laughs> um Yeah, why not? Like, if if we draw... Yeah, I'm gonna run it out. Like, if we draw the Cunning Wish, then the game is over, so... Yeah, we have many good draws. Like, life draws, Ponda, Brainstorm, any of those. Okay, well... Reclaimer is totally okay. Come on, come on, the one ring. Give us something. Emra cool. Cunning wish.
We digging, we digging, we digging. Boop. Okay, so how do we want to kill them? We could go for shared summons. We could do... Okay, so, um... Chat. I let you decide how we want to kill, right? So we can either go Firemind's Foresight. Or we can go... Shared summons. Ember cool. Let me know. 20 seconds, chat. What do you think? Which, which kill is better? Do we go Firemind's Foresight? And go release the ants and do the do do like the <laughs> and do like the clash thing, or do we just grab Ember Cool and cast it and win the game? Foresight? Ants? Is that what you wanna see? Alright, ants it is. Ants it is. I've never done this on Magic Online, okay? So I, I really hope I don't misclick this, but. Let's get a three. <gasps> no way, we don't have a one? Oh, no, no, we don't have a two. Wait, how do, why don't we have a two? Okay, I guess it doesn't matter though. Okay, and then we get brains. All right, all right. So we do this, right? Oh man, I was, I'm, I was nervous, all right. Cunning wish. Let me... Let me get this right. So we go shared summons. We cast shared summons. We get an Emmer called the Eons Torn. Wait, how do we... How do we get release the ends then? Did I fuck this up? Did I... Wait, did I really fuck this one up? Amp? I mean, Emrakul isn't bad, it's just... How, how the hell am I supposed to do the fire mines thing? The combo is with Impulse, a CMC2, so you can find a huge car CMC cart to bring some on top, then wish for ants. Oh shit, ah! Yeah, well, guess what, I'm... Um, I'm gonna look for another <laughs> two extra turns. Two extra turns. I'm sorry, chat. We are not doing the Firemind's Foresight thing because um, I was too stupid for it. But you get this instead. All right. One big extra turn. Um, I'm also running out another omniscience because triple is better than double. And yeah, let's just go to our extra turn, right? Let's just go to extra turn. Okay. First, how about that annihilator six? How about, how about this opponent? It's just six. Things, you know, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got plenty. That's just half of your stuff. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, dude, this is epic. Merit Lage versus Ember Cool the Eon Thorn. Who wins? Who wins this epic battle? <laughs> Phew! This is a big battle, yeah. Is it one Annihilator 6 boy or is it a 2020 Indestructible? Dude, I gotta, I gotta screenshot this. This is insane.
Yeah, posing in Discord. This is insane. All right. You know, it doesn't happen too often, but sometimes, sometimes this, this shit happens, right? Okay, this was really cool, but uh, how about another Ember Cool? <laughs> um, yeah, how about this other Ember Cool? <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. This is a good one. Um, I think we want... So, this is a little bit of a, like, like a lance. Like a lance deck with Force of Will. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what I want. I think Boseju is neat in this matchup. And so are Fluster Storms because they can counter crop rotation too. Vexing Bobble. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about Vexing Bobble. I mean, they run forces, but so do I. Oh man, people used to play Dimdul's Vault. What? Okay. Um. Force the Wandering Impulse. Um. Mm, well, I do. I do like forces. The One Ring. Man, how good is the One Ring versus them? And how, how good is Vexing Bobble? I, I kind of like trimming a little bit on the ring, a little bit on Vexing Bobble, and I guess we could also shave one impulse, maybe. Uh, because, I mean, the one ring also saves us from Emrakul, right? For a turn. Oh, uh, from, uh, what's it called? Uh, the big boy. Okay, amigos, game number two versus Simic Lands. Uh, definitely a keeper. Good old show and tell. And also, since we play Cunning Wish, I'm gonna leave this one open. This is our sideboard. We can grab a variety of things, including an Impulse. many options um many many options um why don't we take i like taking force of will here i think the card i'm most afraid of is crop rotation right now uh because my hand is just not equipped to deal with um a 2020 i'm gonna take the force 
Even though the Vexing Bulb is, is nicer to protect, protect our combo, but... Mm. Let's see. Okay, looks like they have it. Okay, there's a crop rotation. There is the crop rot, and they can make an immediate. Yeah, they can make an immediate varied large. So I'm gonna fight over this, and let's just pitch one of the show and tails. Okay. Seiju? No. Ah! Uh, is there anything we can do? Is there anything we can do? Can we cunning wish for something? I mean, not really. I think we are dead on board. Yeah. We needed like a like a chain of vapor, for example, like a like a one mana bound spell. There is the new there's a new bound spell that um says like gift a uh, uh, no. A gift, gift a frog? No, gift a gift. I don't know what's what it what it's called. It's from Bloomborough, I think, and uh, you can bounce stuff for one mana. Into the flood maw, yeah. Maybe that card belongs in a sideboard. You lose. Yeah, I wish I had it. Um. Okay. I'm gonna go up with the one ring. I'm cut vexing bauble and resubmit. Right? And I also think this deck might want one hedge maze instead of the second tropical. Also again, like people, thank you so much for, for tuning in. If you enjoy this content, right, make sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe, and um, you will you can catch up if this entire stream later. If you just tuned in, uh, you can always check it on on YouTube on my channel Savatarix, or go to Twitch uh, Twitch videos and uh, you'll find it there as well. So here's the question. Show and tell Emrakul against a deck with crop rotation. I don't think it's a good idea. Caracas is a bitch, you know. Okay. What the hell? Um, 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 um. Definitely getting rid of one ancient tomb. Do I need Emrakul in my hand? Is the question. I don't th think so. Ah, uh, 
Hmm, do I keep double Veil of Summer or do I keep Veil of Summer and Emerald Coal? I think I put those guys back. Play this. Probably cast the impulse end of turn. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm taking the Flusser Storm. I guess I'm gonna take the um, Recall then. Sure. Any order. I Omniscient is what I need. Okay, Brainstorm. Brainstorm is a good one. Like, we are so close. We are so, so close. The One Ring, huh? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Uh So, like they have a force circle in hand. Uh, I I can smell it. The thing is what do we do? We could cast a show and tell and bait force of will and then veil of summer which is a really nice exchange i going to toulouse this weekend oh what's happening in toulouse this weekend okay this is just i'm not i'm actually not gonna try to resolve this i'm just here to yeah get a force will out of the hand okay and i'm also casting this veil of summer to get a little bit of value but I, what I really want... Yeah, okay. I wanted him to double force a will. It didn't do it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna put in the one ring then. Not the Emmer call. I think. Oh shit, there's a dual commander event with a Black Lotus? Wait, what? What's happening? Also, since when is dual commander so, uh, so popular? Another one ring. I uh, maybe. Okay. I mean, maybe the draw was a little unnecessary. You got it, bro. Uh, what trample? Blah blah. Okay. Okay, sure. So I ate a trample. That's okay.
All right. Omniscience. Please give it to us. Give it to us. <laughs> there is another one ring to buy us a turn. The problem, though, is that the next two cards. I mean, they sort of suck. <laughs> sort of suck. Um. <laughs> But if I shuffle this, oh man, what? Okay, so if I shuffle this, I then need to show and tell for Embercool, which is only a chump blocker. Hear me out. This got Embercool. You could wish for Sundering to bounce. What is Sundering? Um, look, I think I'm just... Yeah, I think I'm just drawing the one ring, getting another time walk. And go to discard. Oh, Stifle. <laughs> That's really neat. That is really neat. Uh, force pitch. Fluster storm. That was a really neat Stifle. Oh, shit. Yes, the shuffle thing. Right. Um... Dude, that's a really cool play. Let, let's do it. Let's do it then. Yep. Move to discard and discard Emrakul. Shuffle our library. Whoop. Give us the juice, baby. Give us the juice. Two more draws. <laughs> man. Oh man, never didn't have it. Um, how do we do this? I think. Do we lead with vexing bubble? I. Th oh no, vexing bubble is terrible if we have omniscience out. They have four cards in hand. We have veil of summer too. You know what? No, screw Vexing Bobble. I think we can do it without it. We have double counter backup. Sajiri step, that's cool. Yeah, you got protection. Oh, and f <laughs> oh, really neat. Okay. Really, really neat. Um, one card in hand. Awesome. How about this cunning wish? How about this cunning wish right here? Okay, can we do this firebind foresight thing one more time, please? <laughs> I really want to do it. I really want to do it. Okay. Uh, so cast this. 
right? We get a cunning wish. We don't have a we don't have a CMC2 one, but we have a brainstorm. So what do we do now? Um we can cast impulse, look for Ember Coal. Okay, we didn't, but we found another Cunning Wish. So we cast Cunning Wish, find Shared Summons, cast Shared Summons, find Ember Cool, cast Brainstorm. Dude, we're getting there, we're getting there, all right? We are getting there. I uh, put Emrakul on top of our library, cast Cunning Wish now. <laughs> Release the ants, baby! Okay! Yep, clashing. <laughs> Man, <no car. laughs> Ooh, we clashing. Ooh, we clashing. Okay, um. One more time. Phenomenal. That was this was phenomenal. Okay. This was absolutely phenomenal. And um yeah. One more round. Dude, we are sitting three and one. What is going on with this deck? Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Kai Sawatari. The new homepage is up. It's the place to add swag to your game. Check this out. You can get high quality tokens to really make your deck pop. Magic card size, alpha cut corners, I can put mini alterations on top and they're all based on my art. Would you like to spice up your deck with some handcrafted alterations or want to get a custom proxy card or maybe a hand drawn token? It's finally all in one place. Savatarix.com Again, thank you so much, everyone, for believing in, believing in, uh, believing in me. Um, the things I do, you know, streaming, my art, my tokens, my career as a Magic player, all of this, right? Um, you can always find me on social media. It's Savatarix on Twitter, on Instagram, on Twitch, of course, on YouTube. And uh, man, like this year was a really special one because I went to so so many events um in france the us this was the big one I, I i always wanted to go to the us with my booth and just hang out and i got to i got to join uh the buffalo chicken dip legacy in columbus ohio which was a really really special tournament because there were um people from not only from the us but also from canada that was uh the crew legacy of the north those guys came all the way from from uh, toronto i think Michael Maps and I, I um I met for the first time and a bunch of other people as well. So that was a really really cool experience. All right, welcome, amigos. This is round number five, and it, this is I gotta say, this deck is more powerful than I thought. It is like the last three rounds we do we, we crushed. We, we we just it was not even close. Uh, I'm also keeping this hand, of course. If you're looking for a hand for uh, if you're looking for a deck for Eternal Weekend, and uh, that's reasonably powerful, it probably also has a good Moonstompy and Eldrazi matchup. I don't know about Eldrazi, but it definitely has a uh, a solid Moonstompy matchup. I think Show and Tell usually crushes Moonstompy. Uh, this is the deck for you. Cunning Wish in a land. Are you kidding me? This is literally the perfect ponder once again once again this is a turn three double protected kill ah i mean it's total double protected yeah like look at this hand like what's not to laugh about this hand this it's also a little bit like og like a little old-fashioned too, you know, show and tell into Cunning Wish Omniscience. Like, we have seen this stuff before, right? Like, this hat, this stuff is around for, has been around for a couple of years now. I'd guess like, oh, like 15 maybe? 15, 20 years maybe? 
um, but it's still powerful and people don't play a lot of counter magic these days that's important too you don't see many pyroblasts in legacy right now and that's a really good thing for a deck like this that you know has a bunch of like blue spells right everyone is just so obsessed with blue black stuff and you play like a bunch of fossil worlds and um veil of summers Do you have any opinions on blue black being a part of standard? Oh man, dude, like standard mid range, uh, no, blue black mid range is uh, is what my girlfriend plays at the moment in standard, and I, I watch I watch her games from time to time. I think that deck is is not only a lot of fun to play, but it's also really challenging and rewarding too. Okay, so uh, we have. Oh yeah, dude, we can we can kill with double protection. I'm gonna go for it. I have to. Yeah, double force back up. Spell pierce. Okay. Cool, cool. Haven't seen spell pierce in a while. Psychic Frog, in very cute opponent, but not not cool enough. We got we got better plans. We got better plans. How about this Fire Mind's Foresight right here? You know, how about this? How about this casual seven seven mana sorcery, seven mana instant? Uh oh, okay, we can't do the clash thing. That's sad. I guess we're gonna. Yeah, I guess we're gonna cast um cast that Ember Cool thingy. That spaghetti monster. Boop boop. It's that easy. It, it, it's really that easy. It is really that easy. Okay. First time boarding in Zandit's um, Carpet of Flowers, I think. Zandit's form also looks really juicy. I also do like Fluster Stomps quite a bit. Um, so it looks like they're on Esper, Esper control or something. I don't know. Uh, we could technically board in the dress downs, but maybe that's a little bit too much. Um, Veil of Summer is absolute peak here. Vexing Bobble, probably also good enough. Um, I like... I don't know if we need a second Emrakul. I, on, honestly, I don't I don't know if when we ever need a second Emrakul. Like, isn't just like one totally enough? Um... Spe so spell pierce is a bitch, definitely. Um, oh yeah, right. We totally, yeah, I totally forgot about the merit lage thing. <laughs> Um, what do we cut? Do we cut four force of wills? Or do we cut something else? Um, because we bring in disruption and mana. Uh, 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 uh. They might run discard. Do we trim? You could trim a little bit on the forces, maybe. 
Like, minus one ring, minus one force. Hmm. Maybe even minus two force. I don't know. Yeah, let's keep up Veil of Summer and Flusterstorm. You never know. Crashco17, first time chat. Welcome, welcome. Okay, they didn't... Oh shit, they didn't shuffle. They did not shuffle... Um, yeah, show and tell is cool. wish to hmm what's the plan what's the plan um i think the plan is just land go keep up cunning wish keep up brainstorm keep up fluster and veil of summer all of those and again this is a sideboard so we can wish and um i think yeah dude i think what zack and flames just said like siding out impulse Makes Cunning Wish a lot more appealing in, in post board games. And it's form. Very interesting. Um, very interesting. How good is and it's form right now? Um, hmm. I mean, you can you can just try it out, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. You could also cast like next turn. We could man. I mean, spell pierce is really annoying, right? So why don't we put uh, Island Island Sanded Swarm back and then we redraw Sanded Swarm. And if this gets countered then we don't care. Don't we honestly don't care. Don't daze me, bro. 84. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, dude. This this deck is dude, like we're playing or for a four and one. You're sitting at the three and two. We lost the first round against like painters um painter, but they had like all the pyroblasts in the world. Um 
But man, like after that, we just kept crushing. Prismatic ending. Storm is num storm is one. Okay. I mean, they got the answers. They, they certainly got the answers. Uh, I guess you can brainstorm. <laughs> Was it too early to call the ambulance? And I could Calling Wish end of turn. The question is, what do I get? I could grab another Force of Will. I could also grab a land, of course. Um, hmm. But honestly, I don't think it adds a lot of value. Okay, we found a Force anyway. Yeah, let's just grind. Let's just grind. Okay, don't need the Cunning Wish. Ember Cool is interesting. Ember Cool is really interesting. I don't know if they can beat Ember Cool. Can they beat Ember? Chat, do you think they can beat Ember Cool? Oh, shit. I need to go to... Oh, they have the fairy, right? But I mean, we also have, I mean, we have force of will, right? But the thing is, we go to discard step if we keep one of them. Uh, I'm gonna actually gonna shuffle here, draw draw a land like a pro, and think think we just pass here. Like they're always not like not pre presenting a clock here, so. Okay, <laughs> we can kind of, we can kind of keep, keep going. Okay, uh, that's a cute frog. Okay, another veil. All right. Good target for spell pierce. I was gonna say that. Oakish Bowmasters, hmm. Yeah, Oakish Bowmasters is totally okay. Um, do we play out the Vexing Bubble? Do we play out the Vexing Bubble? Ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe we don't bring, uh, maybe we don't play it because if they play the Fairy Time Raveler, I would much rather have Forcible ready. Okay.
Oh man, dude, I oh, I almost forgot how powerful Veil of Summer is. Ah. You know what this deck needs? This deck, like against Rescaminator, I think you want some. You want something in your deck that hates on the graveyard but also cantrips. Maybe something like a Soul Guide Lantern, maybe. I wish this deck had black mana available so you can, like, night. Play like a couple of Night Hill spell bomb. You know, so you can cantrip plus. Oh, yeah, okay, that's holy. Okay. You can cantrip plus um, keep going. We didn't play against a Troxa deck today, right? Okay, um, so now... Oh, we can, yeah, we can still Veil of Summer here in response to, to Orc activations, no problem. Um... Yeah, let's just do brainstorm in response to them. Okay, this was quite terrible. Oh man, this was awful. Da, 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 da. I mean, look at this, right? Like, beautiful. I guess I got a force back. Is there any wait, hold on. Do I need to do I pitch show and tell or cunning wish? Uh cunning wish can get I have so much mana now. Cunning wish oh man, look at this. I've we've so okay. If this carpet of flowers resolves, then we can cunning wish for I don't know, sublime epiphany and cast it for example. Uh, yeah, we, we are 1-0, and oh, I think. I'm gonna pitch show and tell. I think this Cunning Wish is just too powerful right now. So those guys fizzle down to 11. Hey Francis, how's it going? How's it going? Um, yeah, let's just add a truckload of blue mana. It's like six. <laughs> um, and so what we can do here is we could cunning wish for Sublime Epiphany. Oh, dude, we could also, like, randomly get Firebind's Foresight. We, we have Carpet of Flowers mana. I mean, that's really funny. I've never actually hard-casted a Firebind's Foresight. We can actually do it. All right, Jet, you know what? It's time. It is time for another poll. <laughs> Firebind's Foresight... Or, sub. Oh God! How do you sublime epiphan? You know what? I, yeah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> what do we cunning wish for? All right. Is it sublime epiphany, or do we cunning wish for fire mines foresight? We can hard cast both cards. It that it doesn't really matter. The sub the um sublime epiphany we can cast immediately. Firebind's force if you have to wait another turn. 
wish for sync to bounce army oh wait hold on we can also wish for sublime epiphany and this this also bounces the token i would draw with bobble first well the thing is so this is six seven eight nine mana so if he, if i bobble then i don't have the mana for cunning wish plus sublime epiphany um Actually, this card doesn't really do a whole lot. Like, it, we draw a card and it bounces the army. I, I, or I guess I, it bounces the Psychic Frog. Uh, I mean, it's better than nothing. Yeah, it's a really expensive bounce. It's 9 mana for bounce a permanent draw a card. <laughs> okay, I mean, you guys voted for it. So, uh, I don't even know if I really want to do this, honestly. <laughs> um, cause just, okay, to, cause, uh, let me see. If I, so next turn, all right. Maybe sink? Oh, we could get imp, imp oh dude, I totally forgot about impulse. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. And um, for impulse, because impulse maybe finds the one ring. Uh, where is it? Impulse. I'm sorry, chat. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see um, Supply Epiphany, but maybe next time, okay? Okay. Look at that. We found the one ring. Uh, uh, put those babies back. Um, yeah, they can't shoot me. I didn't do the math, honestly, though. Oh, hopefully, they don't kill me. What seven, eight, nine. Oh shit, they're, they're actually they have lethal on board. Oopsies. <laughs> Whoopsies. Yeah, they have lethal on board. <laughs> if they discard the entire hand, then this is lethal. Maybe they miss it. Oh dude, they missed lethal! Yeah! <laughs> okay. All right, I think we dodged a bullet here. We dodged a bullet. Oh, no, we didn't dodge a bullet. Okay, no, no, never mind. We have one ring. All right, okay. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We lose, we lose, we lose. Okay. Yeah, this bitch is still on the field, right? Oh, man, that's funny. Like, I think opponents screwed up the lethal attack, but then there's also this. So. Kablam. Kablam, kablam, kablam. On to game number three. Any changes? I think we want... Oh, they had... Uh, what's it called? They had... Um... They had... You know what? They have Bowmasters and they have Prismatic Ending. I'm gonna side out Xander Swarm. It just dies to everything. Let's bring in another Force of Will. And call it a day. Oh, you think it wasn't purposed? <laughs> like, dude, look at this. Look at the sand and you and like. Ah. Tell me you don't love this. Okay. Forest go. It's all assembled right here. Over there. 
Nothing, huh? Interesting, interesting. Well. I do, I do like draw go games quite a bit. Especially with a deck like this. <laughs> yeah. Draw go for days, baby. Also, how do you guys feel about Oakish Bowmasters right now in Legacy? Not so hot, Ben. Oh man. This is big. They don't have spell pierce. Like, why would you tap like this if you Okay, they don't they certainly don't have spell pierce. That's a good That's some good information, if you ask me. Kaldra complete. Dude, Kaldra complete! <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Um, but how about how about this one ring here? Excuse me? Ex fucking cues me? Force of will on this? Not on show and tell? Alright, so um Firebind's Foresight, once again, once again doing the Firebind's Foresight thing, right? Getting a two, getting a one, and a getting a three. And let's just go for... Let's just make the deterministic kill, right? So we cast... Firemines for F, uh, Cunning Wish, for Shed Summons, get our Spaghetti Monster. Yes, please. Cast a Brainstorm. Put that juicy Ember Cool on top. And guess what? <laughs> Hell yeah, bitch! <laughs> Man, this deck is insanely fun. Holy smokes. I dude, this is this deck is just insane. It's so much fun. Alright, this the deck. This is again credit goes to Zack and Flames, right? He's in chat. Everybody, everyone say hi to Zack. This deck slaps. It really does. And I'm just so happy you posted it on, on the Discord. Again, it's free to join. Click uh, the link down below to, to join it. I basically, last week, I asked on uh, my Discord what de what deck I should play this week. And I, I was just really curious, you know. And we had a lot of really cool submissions, like this deck, and then also, like, some... Oh, man, what what else? Like, uh, like some Yorion Esper Blink stuff, and, you know, a couple of other decks, too. But, man, like, as soon as I saw this deck, I was like, dude... Yes, Veil of Summer and Vexing Bowl, but that's 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 what I want to do this this Wednesday. So we did, and this was a juicy four and one. I'm gonna upload this on YouTube so you guys can rewatch it on YouTube and on Twitch. And uh, once again, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So with that being said, I think I'm gonna shoot you guys over to some other stream. Also, what is everyone doing tonight for Halloween? Do you got you guys got plans? I'm probably doing something on... Probably on this Saturday. 
Uh, just going out. I don't have a costume yet, so if you have any costume suggestions, then definitely also let me know. Oh, it looks like Jarvis Yu is uh online at the moment, so I'm gonna toss you guys over to his channel, right? So let me prep the the raid in a second, and I will see you in a bit. Welcome to my brand new booth, everyone. I'm Kai Savatari, aka Savataris. I paint tokens from player to player and I also stream Magic the Gathering. And I will be at various Magic events this year with my playmats, my tokens, my stickers. We can finally meet up. You can directly challenge me in Legacy or Modern at my booth. All you gotta do is smash this button. Let's go. And you get a free roll before the game and believe me, some of those fields are nasty. Sheesh, we got a free sticker. Let's all meet up and play magic, talk magic, hang out, have a good time, good vibes. Let's go. If you are a tournament organizer and want me to come to your event, go to sawatorix.com and click event booth. I hype up your event on my social media and make more people come to your event. Drop me a line on the contact form and let's add swag to magic events. That's right. Thank you so much once again. Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. It was me, Kai Savatari, aka Savatarix. I'll be back on maybe even tomorrow or on Friday for some other stream. As I promised you, there will be more, more Twitch action right in the, in the following days. So definitely don't miss out on this. And uh, yeah, other than that, have some fun with Jarvis and uh, peace. I'm out.